Okay, morning guys, it's Alex here from Channel. Uh, this week, I think I showed you, we've got a frayed bag. Oh, gas holder over there. The cord which registers how high the gas level is and then runs the engines off the back of that, it's gone down. So we've just got the team from Red Kite here uh, and they are gonna get it sorted out for us. Get inside that bag there and attach the cord uh, to the monitor uh, and the bag inside, because it's a double skin bag, that one. Um, so the inner gas bag and the outer one. And so they're gonna get inside there and get that sorted for us, which is great. That's our new cord there, it's gonna go in. They're gonna take off this old cord that runs in here and runs this level system up and down here. Ash is just taking all the bolts off and get inside there. So Ash is just lifting off that there. Got the old strip there on the ground. We'll get rid of that after five or six years of work. It's done its job. I'm just putting a new one on. So the guys have just got the gas bag down there and they're just getting that all attached. I'm putting all the, <clears throat> all the gas into that holder there for the moment. <clears throat> now we got all the engines down and everything, so um, yeah, they'll be as fast as they can doing this little job. And that metal ring there just held it in place in a series of bolts that run around the outside. Grey bag's the inner one and the green one is the outer one. Cable going in, coming in across here, back up there and down again. We'll put the poppers all on. So there. Okay, guys, so there's that gas bag. It's just slowly coming back up now as it fills back up with gas. You can see the cord over there. We just need to set the levels right and then we can restart the CHPs and the boiler and all the rest of it. Okay, guys. It's uh, next morning, uh, the gas bag is nicely back up and uh, seems to be holding well. You can see it's a pretty cold morning here, a lot of, a lot of vapour coming out of two engines there. Um, so yeah, otherwise everything looks tickety boo I'll go check the gas levels and see how we're getting on. Okay guys, I'm just down here at the quarry. Um, I'm digging out, as you remember last week, uh, uh, a turning circle here so we can get more stone out from my base um, and I've just showed you what I had to dig out there's a line of sort of muck that we'd originally cleared from all this area I had to put that back and I've forgotten uh, that we've got a tree buried in there so I'll just show you that so here we are guys I've forgotten that Dave buried this big beastie in the ground I can't remember why we hadn't split it and chipped it at the time but anyway or maybe it was something that fell down, I don't know. But anyway, it's a massive beast. It was under a whole pile of muck and I managed to dig it out now. So I'm gonna chuck it up the bank over that way. Um, so we can get a nice bit of space down here, basically. So I'm gonna work on that now. So there it is. <laughs> Quite a big beast. Um, certainly made the machine dip a bit when I picked it up. But yeah, I'll try and lob it up over that side over there. Okay, in the end, I had to put it over there on that side because um, I just couldn't throw it up the bank here high enough. Uh, but we've made a nice little area here for turning. I've uh, got the digger there. So we can nicely get the truck in here, turn it around and get some more stone out when we need it. Um, and that's got quite a decent little space in there. Enough space to to get what we need in and out. So I'm just lasing out this level. There's a fair old sink down below there. It's almost about a foot over here through this middle section. All the way across, there's a bit of a dip in this middle bit and then it rises up to where the truck is. So I'm gonna to have to get a little bit of fill in this middle section, just to bring the level up. And then maybe I could tarmac half of it and just have log storage there so we can sweep it down once it gets muddy and everything like that, which invariably happens when you're bringing logs in. 
starting to come up a little bit here. A bit of a higher levels. So yeah, falls a bit down there, falls in the middle. And then when I put the redstone, it's sort of risen up a bit because it's a bit more chunky there. But there's still a good fall on the yard from over here, which is what I wanted really. Just got the remains of a burnt out caravan. Richard brought the wood chip bucket up. I'll have it in my hand, loading up. Here we've got cool old cooking pot here. <laughs> Not much left otherwise. I don't know what this is, some kind of copper wiring or something. I thought it was a tire at first. I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, either. It's copper, so maybe it's a hot water cylinder. That's pretty much what it's all gone down to. That's one caravan. <laughs> yeah, this is the old tire stuff much thinner so this one's a thicker wire. I don't know. Hard to say what was it once it's all been burnt down. So there it is, not much left of that caravan. They took the frame all away earlier but that's just all the upper bits that were burnt out. There's probably a few nails in the ground but it's just hard now to pick out the last little bits once it's all been totally burnt up. Guys, just tidy up all these bits of wood that we've got. We still haven't got into that beach over there that's sat there, but just be nice to tidy everything up for a bit, get all the shit out which comes when you get long deliveries, all this sort of muck down there. Um, we've got another load of our vlogs coming in, so I really want to make some space for it. But this is just trimming up all these bits to send them through the processor. We've still got a fair amount to do, it's just small bitty bits at the moment that can run through the processor. Dave's just clearing up all the shit. We always seem to get a load of muck and crap that we can't do anything with. Come out of the logs. So he's just loading up and putting them into the, into the dump truck there. So we've got a nice clean base, we've got some new logs coming in today. Just 15 tons, but it keeps us going for a bit longer. As I said the other day, we haven't got that much to do. Just a few over there, we need splitting. There it goes. Have to go in one of our holes. <laughs> Just saving that, it's a nice bit of you. We're not going to make that into firewood. There's a bit of value in that. <laughs> Comes up quite nicely. So that's just being saved with a few oaks that we've got over there. Uh, dump truck's loaded up, so I'm going to take that off and tip it. And uh, we've got the log truck over there. Going out, more orders, Dave's on that. And I think Blades is trying to make a wooden stone hinge out there. All right, so we've just got a few more logs to keep us going. Just a half load here, really. Um, <clears throat> you can see it's all been done with a firewood processor. That's all those marks are on it. Oh yeah, harvester. So it grabs it, it moves up and down that. Um, so yeah, it's obviously shortened up the deck just to get us something in, which is nice. That'll keep us going for another, another few days. So, yeah. so there it is, guys. Doesn't look that much when it's off the truck stack, but it's not too bad. I think most of that will go through our machine. There's a few obvious bits which are a bit too large, but most of that is pretty nice sized stuff, as the guy said. So yeah, that's all right. Okay, this is the second lorry coming in now. This is real nice stuff. We we'll just have a look at it. It's actually yeah, it's all going to go through the process. It's very easy now. Could be costly a lot, but there we go. So 
we're just over here in some of this big beach and um yeah this hasn't actually split very nicely though the bits are just sort of cracking up it's actually because the inside that is just mush it's real funny stuff actually it's like putty um so yeah it's just rotted out that's the trouble with some of these big big boys when they get too large they're just not much good for anything really so here's the really expensive oak that we had delivered the other day you can see how nice it is nice and uniform not much which is over 12 inches there so that's gonna pretty much nicely go through the machine and i'll show you the more expensive stuff over the other side now this is some other stuff i just had delivered in today you can really see the difference it's real some of it's really piggy real mixture of species in there as well but it's uh, almost half the price of that other stuff so it's all about the blend now i've got a roll of um a length of tubing here which is six inch and i said it was 15 meters long doesn't look it there uh, but i'm going to try and use that to recycle some of the hot air out of my dryer and back over the heat exchanger just to try and maximize the amount of heat that i've got going out of it so or increasing the heat inside the dryer i should say so i'm going to put the pipe in at the top there and then run it along the edge there and then i'll put the air to come back up and i'll connect it into that side there so hopefully the hot air gets sucked back over the heat exchange box which is there and then back into the dryer across this tube here well that's the plan anyway so i'm just going to cut out these bars here stick this through mm. you can probably see cobwebs are sort of being sucked in there's not a, not a huge amount of um, suction there but i think i stick my hand in there it hasn't started to warm up yet i've stuffed one in under the door where there is high pressure this is low pressure so the air should go over so well, there it is guys i'm just uh put that pipe down the side here chucked it back in there hopefully that will just get a little bit of air recirculating back and lift the temperature up well that's the theory anyway we'll see how we go see if i notice any difference so on with our water project here guys um yeah barry and richard i've managed to put that filter up there on the side of the shed and they've also been changing over the guttering that's new guttering and that's the old back there and these down pipes we won't be using anymore so that's that's something i think they're also talking about doing the front guttering too so we'll collect both sides although majority of it runs down the back of it here um, as this is the south facing side of the building um, so yeah it'll be good to see that working and get a few other sheds with these water butts on them as we seem to be having such dry summers now that's one side of the place and uh yeah barry and richard are just looking to do this side Soon enough, they'll be changing the roof on this one as well. So, guys, first thing in the morning, got delivery of sugar beet there, just come in. So, push that up and um, start feeding it into the mix as per usual. Fast track's got new tyres on, looks quite good actually. I don't know, it looks a bit bigger for some reason. Maybe it's just that extra inch on the tread. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that video and we'll catch you next time. Cheers now.